The St. Regis and Four Seasons are two luxury resorts located in Putamita, about an hour away from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We visited both in September of 2021, and here's what we thought. St. Regis Punta Mita sits on 22 acres of oceanfront property and offered us awesome views of the Pacific as soon as we walked through the lobby. Check-in was personalized and included welcome drinks that we finished before we could get them on video. A quick ride on a golf cart took us to our deluxe ocean view room. This is the same layout as the base room type for this property, but with an ocean view. And of course, all rooms include St. Regis' signature butler service, which we took full advantage of. The unique highlight of our room was the bathroom. Inside is a standard double vanity with spa grade amenities and a wet area with an open rain shower and soaking tub with real candles to set the mood. But from there we could step out into a private outdoor shower, which was the only place I bathed during our trip. Wrapping up our room tour is a private patio with an okay view of the Arecas adult pool and the ocean beyond it. We didn't spend a ton of time out here, but it was great to wake up to in the mornings. The entrance to the Remedy Spa felt like we were entering an enchanted garden, and the staff welcomed us with our choice of infused water. The locker area and treatment rooms were what you would expect for the St. Regis brand, but I was a little bit surprised at how simple the spot was. Still, the staff and services were absolutely excellent. We enjoyed a green loofah scrub and the diamond facial. Three pools are available for use 24 hours a day, in addition to the really big sloshy one by the sand. The Arecas Adult Pool near our room had to close for hurricane repairs for most of our stay, but we made ample use of the Las Marietas Pool and its infinity style views. Just around the corner is the Sea Breeze Pool. It features a pool and a breeze from the sea. All the pool areas were fully staffed, and we never had to wait long for towels, food, or drinks. Continuing on the food and beverage theme, there was plenty on the menu at the pools and beach areas. Our room butlers were also available to provide service as needed outside of the staffed pool hours. Four restaurants are also on property, starting with the Seabreeze Restaurant, which is the main breakfast spot with both a buffet and a la carte options. Seabreeze also has an outdoor bar and is open for dinner service, where steaks are the main attraction. Mmm, sauce. Down on the beach is Mita Mary, which lived up to its reputation as the star dining venue here. Fresh seafood on the beach is basically what we came here to do, and Mita Mary did not disappoint. We skipped the other two restaurants, Las Marietas with informal lunch service, and Carolina, the upscale fine dining restaurant by the lobby. In all, we loved our time at the St. Regis. The property is starting to age a little bit, but it's been well maintained and the staff and service are fantastic. We'd be happy to return here, but for now, let's head up the peninsula and check out the Four Seasons. Just north up the coast is the Four Seasons Punta Mita. The larger lobby here has a more traditional front desk for check-in and a similar great view of the ocean. We hopped on a brief golf cart tour across this notably larger property to our room in Oceanfront Casita. 
The rooms here are very nice and certainly up to Four Seasons standards. All rooms also come with 24-hour butler service, and unlike the St. Regis, the Four Seasons had not removed minibars from their rooms due to the pandemic. The bathroom was simple but elegant, with the usual amenities you would expect. What this room lacks in specialness, however, it certainly makes up for in the view. Straight out to the patio and bam, here's the Pacific Ocean. We got a lot of use out of this outdoor patio, enjoying in-room breakfast and evening drinks. We headed to the Apuana Spa the next morning. The Four Seasons Spa is noticeably larger and feels more complete than the St. Regis Spa. The tea room was spacious with a variety of relaxing seating, and men's and women's areas were luxuriously appointed with hot tubs, contrast showers, and, though currently closed due to COVID, saunas and steam rooms. Hey, wait a minute. The men's locker room was definitely not this fancy with the sauna and the waterfalls and stuff. I mean, it was still nice, but... Sorry. Like that. talk about this treatment bit. It lowered me up and down automatically. It bent in various positions throughout the massage. So cool. We went with the tequila stone massages and needed by one of us at this point in the trip, a soothing after sun treatment. And the post massage relaxation room with zero gravity chairs was the icing on the cake. We got up super early to try out the Yoga at the Rock class. The instructor was great, leading us through simple asanas and much needed stretching, and you could not ask for a better view. The larger size of the Four Seasons property provides far more beach space, and the beaches here were much nicer and less rocky to wade and swim from. As expected, full food, drink, and towel service materialized anywhere you could want or need it, and there were plenty of nooks and crannies to hang out in. Literally. The main large pool, Nunya, is right in the middle of the resort, with great ocean views you can block with your face when taking an Instagram selfie. The pool never felt crowded, but there were always people hanging out. The surrounding pool deck had plenty of seats available, and service, of course, was on. They even had a daily falconer come out to address any nacho-stealing wildlife. But who needs views when there's a lazy river? Further back in the property is the oasis. This was a blast and my personal favorite part of the whole trip. Plenty of floaty tubes for everybody to use, spots of sun and shade depending on what you need. Pro tip, grab a drink at the bar and you'll finish right at the one lap mark. Lunch at the Lazy River was pizza, the aforementioned nachos, and churros, but most of our dining here was at Dos Catrinas, the central bar and restaurant in the middle of the property. Downstairs is a full-service restaurant open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Food and service here was excellent, and both Mexican and American fare were on the menu in case for some reason you don't want tacos. Upstairs at Dos Catrinas is an open-air bar that serves as a coffee shop by day and lively gathering spot at night. Get the tequila tasty. It comes with a fantastic narrative and um, they don't measure the pool. Also, there's a fresh churro cart at the entrance to complement the other excellent desserts like this dinosaur egg. Sadly, the Bahia restaurant, which we were especially looking forward to, was closed due to hurricane damage. We also didn't get to check out the Aramara Asian restaurant, as one of our dinners was off property at Sufi. Check the description for our video on that restaurant. The Four Seasons is a fantastic resort in its own right. It's on the larger side, and getting from one spot to another can be a hike. But service and food were as excellent as we'd hoped for in the Four Seasons, and hurricanes aside, the property felt very well cared for. So, St. Regis Putamita or Four Seasons Putamita? The truth is, you're choosing between superb and fantastic with these two. You can't really go wrong with either, so of course, it's a split decision for us. I gave the St. Regis an edge for its more natural and quiet vibe. It seemed easier to get around the resort, and the winding paths with lots of shade felt more a part of the landscape than something built on top of it. The whole place is just quieter too. There's no music at the pools playing over the ocean waves, and lots of time you could be the only guest in a particular area. Also, outdoor shower. My favorite of the two was the Four Seasons. 
Honestly, it felt a little bit more upscale to me. The vibe was livelier than the St. Regis, which was a positive for me. The beaches were a little bit nicer, the spa was more luxurious, and the lazy river was so much fun. I do agree that the St. Regis had a better room interior and the outdoor shower was fabulous. Uh, that resort was quieter, so if that is what you're after, then definitely stay there. So we're not gonna give y'all a definitive winner, but watch out for our next Puna Mita videos where we dine at Restaurant Sufi and play the Bahia Golf Course. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Oh my god. Yay.